Well, it's no secret what occurred at the enlarged Cotter Dam site. At the beginning of March 2012, a major flood event, which was very widely reported. Hi, it's Richard Snashall here, and this update is a little bit different from the usual site updates that we've been producing. This flood event left a great deal of damage in its wake to the construction site, and I filmed these shots just as the cleanup was getting underway, or at least the assessment for the cleanup. As the waters had receded, and uh, the engineers were able to get on site and have a look at what, how they were going to proceed. So we've just had our first opportunity to get down on the dam in the last sort of 24 hours or so. The water's receded about a metre, maybe a metre and a half now, so it's safe to come on and have a bit of a look. Uh, we're on the top layer of the RCC, so this is where we got to about a week ago before the water started coming over the dam. So just uh, having a look, assessing the, uh, the extent of the damage and from the, a few of the shots that Richard's got on the um, on this sequence, I think you'll, you'll get a feel for yourself. The main thing is there's a lot of ply that's come off the forms on the upstream face. A lot of the timbers washed from further up in the reservoir as well and washed over the top of the dam and sort of hung up on the downstream forms down here. So that's probably the first thing to address is to make sure that there's nothing above us as the guys come back in that can fall down onto them. And then uh, access will be the first main thing after the trees. So huge amount of scaffolding has been washed away and handrails and that sort of thing. So it's about getting that back in, getting safe access for the guys so we can start the clean up, really. Over 96 gigalitres of water flowed through the reservoir during the flooding. So if the new 78 gigalitre dam had been completed, it would have totally filled and overflowed. I was surprised a few days ago when we started looking at the, the quantity of water coming over the dam. You know, it's amazing the, the force that uh, a quantity of water can have like that. You know, when there's that quantity of water running at that speed and that volume, it can really do a lot of damage and that's certainly what we've, what we've seen. We haven't got to the bottom of the stilling basin yet, that'll be an interesting one over the next week or so. So the stilling basin is down the very bottom of the dam. Once we pump that out, I think in the bottom of the stilling basin we're likely to find great bundles of scaffolding and timber and ply and all sorts of things. So, yeah, certainly amazing. This flood event caused the reservoir to rise so much that it was actually storing around 11 gigalitres of water behind the new wall at its current height. Now usually the existing Cotter Dam, or the old Cotter Dam, holds less than 4 gigalitres of water. 11 gigalitres is about the same size as Bendora Dam, which is further upstream. As Scott said, getting safe access back on site to do this repair work is critical and the water in some areas is still yet to recede enough to allow workers back on site to access or even assess the damage. It's quite extraordinary what the floodwaters moved and what was left. These bags of boral builder cement, these nine bags, sat here on this uh, left-hand abutment while the floodwaters were pushing down shipping containers and man boxes and large pieces of timber. And there is the original Cotter Dam wall, completely underwater. It was actually under 15 metres of water when the floodwaters were at their peak. The old Cotter Dam wall is just to my right. Um, it's about 100 metres upstream of this upstream face of the dam. Uh, and it would currently be about eight metres below the surface level of the water. Uh, so, a scuba diving relic at the moment. <laughs> I must say a special thanks to Chris Hare from ACTU who shot the footage of the actual flood event while I was away in a, a drier Tasmania. And also thanks to Cole Ellis who is the project photographer who took that wonderful image at the beginning of this video.